hi, I just, uh, me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just did a video of this the other day, and I stated in that that some fonts work and some other fonts work, uh, don't work as well. And then somebody asked me, does the font have to be a particular size? These are both aerials. These are both impact. Now, I've converted these to curves to see if it would make any difference. Doesn't seem to make any difference. So we're just going to go open the envelope tool, and we're going to put that one in there. I'm going to grab that one, grab the envelope tool, put it in there. See, it's exactly the same. It's going to stretch it regardless of what size your font was. So those three are all identical. And if you bring them up, and we talked about this yesterday, hold down the shift and select both of them and go EC, and it'll center that guy in there. Now, let's try it, and, and we'll just, well, we don't need all three of these. We're going to do a different font this time. We're going to use Impact like I did yesterday. It seems to work a little bit better, maybe a little bit more readable. But let's try this font, which is Hobo. And just see, I haven't not tried it. Let's see what it looks like. And it looks pretty good. And then if we, we've got that selected, if we hold down the shift and then go EC, it put it in there. Now, part of the part of the letters are a little bit too close to the edge. And I might have, I think I mentioned this yesterday. If we will take this shape and go to effects and contour and contour to the inside, just like 0.25 of an inch. Maybe, maybe that's too much. Let's go point. One, two, five. Then go and break the contour apart. And I really want to try that font. Uh, well, let me just change this one to Hobo. No, that's one I... So let me just back up here. I, I really like that font and the way it looks. So I've got that font. We can apply the contour. Let me move this up a little bit and... So you can see what's going on. Now we need to break the contour apart so we'll be able to get it apart later. And I feel safely that it's gonna contour inside of our, or it's gonna envelope inside of our contour. But we're probably gonna to have to select the inside and go CE. There we go. Now we can take away that line and it, you get a edge around your work. So that, I think that font maybe is gonna be the best one. There are some other fonts out there that I don't have, like Groovy, uh, that might work. And, and I'm, you're probably never going to use the word guitar, but if you're going to put somebody's name in it. Anyway, just a little bit of information. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.